All right, 739 our time on this Thursday morning. It's really warm and muggy. Feels more like May out there than it would be middle of March with the cloudy skies. Temperature 74 degrees outside. Dew point of 70, but that 74 was actually one degree cooler. It's 73 earlier that tied the record low maximum temperature for the day today. So the warmest morning we've ever had on record tying that at 73 degrees for this day, March 19th. So again, pretty uh, impressive with warm air out there. Roughly about 20 degrees above normal for us. Not much in the way of fog, which is good news. Take it down to the coast in Port Fouchon. Visibility about zero down there with that thick sea fog and 72 degrees there. 72 also in the home area to Bell Chase. 73 Slidell, Bogalusa. Hammond coming in at 70 now with the southeast of the winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. A little breezier down along the coastline, even with the winds down there in Port Fouchon. Still the thick sea fog, so the wind really not impacting that at all. You'll see as we go throughout the morning, temperatures do warm up to the lower 80s by lunchtime. Mid 80s this afternoon with that small chance for rain, roughly about 20% and as we go throughout the day, we'll be around 84 for everyone from the North Shore, Bogalusa, Hammond area, back to Mandeville, Covington, Madisonville, Slidell, Lacombe area, back to Lakefront, Chantilly area, over toward Gretna, Marrero, heading to New Orleans itself, back to the Uptown area, Lakeview, Metairie, also in Kenner, looking pretty warm today. Normally, we should be 73 degrees this time of year. Now, for your pollen and mold levels, yeah, high level of tree pollen with it being so warm and humid, that's keeping things pretty high. Same for the mold levels, so if you're allergic to that, just definitely have your allergy medicine with you. Right now, the weather is still pretty quiet. We still have some mostly cloudy skies. Not expecting any active weather today. Wet weather continues through Dallas and kind of spreading its way to Arkansas and parts of Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana have a chance of some rough weather, severe weather out there today. So they need to be well aware of what's going on with that situation. Uh, for us, we'll miss out on that as this front moves away. Our front is the second one back here, part of an upper level low spinning near Albuquerque. That's going to work its way toward the Great Lakes, bringing blizzard conditions to Denver today. So if you're trying to travel there, Good luck. That thing's going to be pretty rough. Our chance of rain does climb to 30% tomorrow, 50 to 60% for the weekend into Monday as our front comes in. So a couple of showers today. Tonight, some clouds, patchy fog, maybe a few sprinkles out there. Tomorrow, small chance for rain at 30%. And here comes that front on Friday night. So about 1 a.m. on Saturday, it's moving into town with a line of showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Gets to the coastline on Saturday morning, kind of meanders in the south shore here all the way to the coast as we go through Saturday. So chance of rain greatest on the south shore versus the the North Shore. It drifts back to the north on Sunday, and that'll keep rain in the forecast for Sunday as well. On both sides of the lake is the front. You can see where the wind's kind of converging north of the lake. The front kind of works its way to the north a little bit more from Monday, and then finally Tuesday well to the north of us, and we bring back the warm and humid air and drier conditions for the middle of next week. So 84 today, tomorrow mid to upper 70s, so a little cooler, if you will, this weekend with the scattered showers and storms into Monday, and then mid 80s as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. April.